Hi, Joe Dietz here with Adrenaline Industries, and we got another special vehicle. So this is a kind of two vans in one, and the coolest part about this is that you guys have known Adrenaline Industries for making some really unique vehicles, um, from you know cool off-road things to unique sports cars to rally cars. And uh, one of my uh, great friends, Lance, who's kind of been uh, the guy that's actually had to utilize my crazy ideas when I'm like, Lance, I want this built, something to hold this or do that. Lance has been the fabricator and designer for a lot of our builds for going on about 17 years. So this is Lance's personal uh, trailer, and I'm gonna let him explain it, but I told him, I said, I'll help you list this one on Bring a Trailer. We think it's so cool that we want it to be tied into this one as well. I think everyone's gonna love it. So Lance, give us some details of your idea behind this special project. All right. I always loved Westphalia camper buses from the 70s, ever since high school. Finally found one in a field, knocked on the door, super rusty, said it ran when parked. I ended up buying it. I don't even remember how much I paid for it, but uh, got it home, tried to turn over the motor, seized, sat in my driveway for a while as I thought about what to do with it. And I just was trying to think, how can I make this thing go 75 miles an hour? How can I have better brakes? How can I have air conditioning? So I'm going over all these things and like my current vehicle has all those things. <laughs> so why don't I make it into a trailer? Um, not long after that, I was in a wrecking yard. I found a shell of a, another bus, uh, not a Westphalia. that was in really pretty good shape. No motor, no interior, no windows, but pretty good body. So I bought that, cut the top off the Westie, welded it on the other bus, uh, cut the floor out of the west or out of that that bus and built the tube frame built the trailer frame um, so it's pretty crazy you took two volkswagen buses and took the best of both of them to make this amazing trailer all right so building a trailer out of a volkswagen bus was a really complicated process obviously more complicated than you think when you start out but i cut the whole sub frame floor out of the bus, dropped it, had this the whole body hanging, built a round tube frame, welded all the way around, all the way around the perimeter, ended up cutting the parts out for the wheel well after we reinforced that. So the body has a tube frame, and then I built a 2x4 steel tube frame, rectangular tube, as a trailer frame. I mounted the tube frame from the body onto the tube frame for the trailer. So to get this to work as a trailer, I actually had to move the axle forward. The original tire was way back here on the Volkswagen. I shortened the wheel well and moved the whole thing forward as far as we could to get a good amount of tongue load on the trailer. So used to be a front wheel well here and a door here. I welded the doors closed and then I welded steel in where the wheel well was to make this a nice smooth transition. So on the front end, did a bunch of things here actually tinted the windshield before we put it in, um, added all LED lights all the way around. Um, the old headlights were of no value, um, so I took them apart and put halos in them that you can turn off or on or change colors. Uh, added the little chrome eyelids, all new chrome bezels and trim, all new gaskets. Um, normally the tire is turned backwards, and I don't like it that way, so I've, I've built in a new mount so the tire can mount this way so you can have it matching with the others. Um, they are all aftermarket trailer tires and wheels, so they're specific. They're a little bigger than the factory tires and wheels, um, and a little more load capacity. So, kept the mirrors so you can adjust and use them as a mirror. Uh, tinted windows, all new gaskets in all the windows actually took all of these louvered windows apart, added new gaskets and all these, cleaned up all the aluminum. And if you didn't catch that, the front windows do still roll down. These have all new screens. Um, back windows are blacked out and there's actually upholstery on the inside. So you have a little more real estate if you want to you know, build something inside. Um, added screens to these areas. Wasps love to get in there and build nests, but I added a screen in here.
So when I painted this, I went through and painted all the parts separately. So hinges separately. I liked the white and blue contrast in the back. Uh, there's a nice storage area. We've got our battery, battery shutoff switch, charger. We've got an exhaust fan from up front, which actually pulls air through here and there's goes out the vents, the factory vents for the engine cooling. Um, this is a fitted car cover for the bus. And then we've got like kind of a more rugged, dirty storage area down here. Like if you wanted to carry tools or wood or any of that kind of stuff. Both of these compartments have lights. Um, so I really like different areas of light. I did tons of different light switches. Uh, each compartment has lights. I have rear, actually spotlights where the reverse lights are. So they are hooked to the reverse wire in the plug or you can turn them on manually like if you're backing it up into a dark place. So on the entry side of the bus, I uh, have a hard sided awning, pulls out, has legs. Under the awning, I built kind of a mini awning and that goes back past the rain gutter and comes out just to keep that water from going behind the awning and dripping. Um, and that also gave me a place to put an outdoor light. Last thing we really need to cover on the outside is the roof. So we have the original fiberglass roof all refinished, repainted, new gaskets, and of course, all new tent fabric. Um, and then why the trailer is set up the way it is. I've been in the trailer industry for about 10 years. Uh, most currently I build anti-shanty off-road adventure trailers. So the experience has given me a lot of ideas on how to do this trailer. So here's a quick video of underneath the trailer. Uh, we've got leveling jacks on all four corners. You can see the two by four tube trailer frame with the Dexter axle with electric brakes, trailer wheels and tires. And then right here, you can kind of see the round tube frame that's attached to all of that. All right, moving inside, we'll start with all the lights. I told you I like a lot of light, different light zones. So we have front, we have main cabin, we have upstairs lights. We have wires for another light here if, if I wanted to add it. And then we have a backlight back here. So you can kind of turn on whichever lights you want. On the interior, over all of the windows, I have reflective covers that are cut to fit each one. They press fit in and you can pull them out. So they come out pretty easily and can be stored in one of the compartments under the couch. All right, so in the floor, it has a plywood floor, half inch of hard foam board insulation, and then bamboo floor on top of that. The walls are all insulated, and then they are all upholstered with also a, a foam underneath the upholstery. So it's really quiet, really well insulated. The back wall is actually also insulated from that back storage area. So the original bed in the Westphalia had a folding piece up here that folded back and gave you about, oh, three or four feet of standing area. I wanted more than that. So I built one platform, goes up to the ceiling and hooks. So you have more standing height. I think it's somewhere near nine feet up here at the front. So we also have uh, three dual USB chargers to charge phones, whatever. Um, up here, we had factory intake vents that I really wanted to keep. So I actually screened it in up front. You can open these. You've got screened vents. And then in the back of the trailer, you have an exhaust fan that you can set to on or put on a timer. So along with USB ports, we also have a voltage gauge. So you can check in and see how your battery's doing. All right, so under all the couches, there's storage. Under this side of the couch, there's sliding doors that slide both directions. So you can get to all this area. Under this other side, uh, cushion just comes off. You've got storage down in the bottom of here. You've got storage in here. And then you've got storage up here in the front as well. So along with the upper double bed, this area can fold into a queen bed. We've 
got our storage ottoman. Comes over here. You just lift this up, slide this couch out. Drops into place and you've got a queen bed here. So isn't this camper amazing? Um, I loved it. Lance is so thoughtful the way, you know, he, that engineering background, the way he just thinks through everything. And, and of course, having the background building trailers, you know, this thing's solid. It's super well built, which is why we're willing to, you know, put our name on it too. Um, I, he was gonna, so he was going to build it into a full camper. Um, and I kind of told him to pump the brakes because there's probably a good chance that somebody might want this as like a, be an excellent uh, marketing vehicle for a company or part of a trade show booth, an expo, you know, exhibit or something uh, where you have like meetings or storage for different uh, things that a company might have. And it, but it still works awesome as like a basic camping rig. But yeah, someone could throw in like a cassette toilet. Um, they could add some water. There's a bunch of different things you get for the different van builders out there that you could add to this to make it a full-blown camper if somebody desired to have it that way. I built and painted this trailer in 2017. It has been out, it's been camping, it's been on gravel roads. Um, so we just wanna go around the body and show you any imperfections it has. Um, it does have some rock chips, like you can see a little one here. Um, definitely some in the front bumper. Uh, back right here on the door, you can see, oh, a tiny bit of rust. Um, right in the bottom corner, nothing that I think is gonna rust through at an important spot. Uh, on the other side, in the same spot, we've still got rock chips in the bumper. Um, same spot, we've got just a tiny bit of rust down here in the corner. Um, a few rock chips over here that have been touched up. And then in this door, which you may or not be able to see, there's just a hairline crack right here. So on the back half of the trailer, we do have a couple of rock chips in the bumper. Um, it does have a whole new really solid bumper bracket. And I forgot that I did add a receiver hitch so you can, tow, you can hook up a mountain bikes or put a motorcycle rack on the back. Um, if you keep coming around this side, same spot, couple of rock chips. I did learn to add uh, those big truck mud flaps behind my vehicle to stop getting those. And then right here, we just have a little chip right there on the paint as well.